Solar PV TV once again from the Solar World Congress here in Abu Dhabi. And now we are, as I always say, the most famous German person in the Middle East with Cornelius Mates, <laughs> founder of a couple of companies here in the region, but also senior vice president of DII, uh, Desert Energy Initiative, uh, and uh, one of the, let's say, I would, I would say, uh, fathers of uh, Desert Energy Leadership Summits. Uh, so, guten Tag. Hello, Cornelius. Hello, Thomas. Thank you for inviting me and pleased to be here. In two weeks, there's going to be a very exciting event, the eighth event uh, which will be held in Dubai, the Energy Leadership Summit. And you are one of the founders, yes, of this idea. And I would like to ask you, could you tell us more about, you know, the history of the summit? I came on board early 2010 as one of the first employees and we built up um, what I would say a most uh, amazing and fascinating network and the best uh, thing is that it works today better than uh, than ever before so it's ultimately the fact that uh, you know we are connecting people uh, bridging uh, continents uh, these kind of things and business is done between people and not between uh, companies and uh, human to human Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, so th the first annual summit was really an adventure. There was a very small team and uh, we organized this in October 2010 in Barcelona. So I was uh, in charge of this, of the first uh, four summits at the time. And it was really an exciting experience. And to start building this network and we've had our friends from Morocco, from Algeria, Aquapower became shareholder at the time when Aquapower was still unknown and now Aquapower is the leading player and having done... Uh, Over 30 gigawatt, yeah? Yeah, I exactly, and having uh, driven with a number of amazing achievements um, and influenced uh, not only locally here in the region but on a global scale the development of renewable energy, now with the arriving CSP. So, you know, these kind of companies and friends uh, like uh, Paddy Patmanathan, Thomas Altman from the time, and uh, it's, uh, it's nice that the, these friendships have grown and uh, we have people attending, I know, uh, at the summit in two weeks' time uh, that were attending uh, for the first summit in Barcelona. So uh, that is a little bit the history and it's like a network of networks, you know, and we are investing. Uh, a lot to bring together the network. So it is the platform for our shareholders and associate partners. That's how it uh, has always been. And uh, this is why people appreciate it. There's nothing commercial. There is uh, very good content. And uh, we have quite a unique uh, network of people. And uh, uh, this uh, starts from uh, the Maghreb. It starts uh, from uh, Europe uh, and even globally, like from US, like from Asia, people are coming. Uh, now in the Middle East, so I think this makes it uh, even the biggest utility in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Said Grid Corporation of China is one of the shareholders, and uh, uh, the top top people from the company have attended in the past, and they will come yeah. again. So, so, what is uh, let's say the major uh, points uh, in the agenda for the summit? Well, uh, the major points is always a status on. Uh, uh, the industry, DI's work, and really bringing together this platform to discuss on the progress of the work, on the issues, on how to shape the next year of work. So in the past, we've uh, step by step uh, progressed with uh, studies like Desert Power 2050, so preparing the ground for large scale solar wind projects and connecting uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa with the power grid, studies on localization. Uh, uh, grids, uh, many aspects, technology matters, uh, PV, CSP, wind, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, well, uh, we've had a uh, presentation last year on the Hurdles Working Group, and typically our working groups, and we've, uh, we've been running a number of different working groups in parallel, are always a big uh, a topic. So this year's summit will have keynotes of uh, people we, uh, we were just talking about really top uh, people globally of large corporates or uh, from uh, scientific uh, institutions and political stakeholders like Jamila Matar, um, the head of the energy department of the Arab League. She's been a big supporter from the first day will come. Um, we will have the top executive panel like usual. We'll have the round tables and the round tables have new topics like e-mobility. We have a top guy from Silicon Valley coming over from a company called e-motor works. Uh, just announced last week acquisition by Nell. 
Um, so e-mobility is a topic DI is uh, already working on, on uh, storage, hybrid systems, uh, on solar desalination, um, a working group run by Thomas Altman from AquaPower. Uh, we will have uh, a new company joining DI coming over from uh, electrical energy storage, another DAX 30 company from Germany. Um, and then we have uh, a panel on practical experiences, particularly in Jordan, Egypt, Saudi, the UAE and how DI can continue to help to accelerate deployment. Second day, we will present the toolkit again for project developers, a very concrete thing which was unveiled just recently at InterSolar Middle East. And we have a person, Fadi Malouf, he's in charge of this, our director for IPP and, and projects. Um, we will have the IFC involved in this and uh, several developers. And then we have two panels on um, interconnections, uh, electrical grids on the study we are currently uh, working on in this respect uh, and on localization. So also Cornelius, I think you have for seen uh, the site visit, yeah, for the first time? Yeah, well that was an Of this project, yeah? Uh, that is uh, correct. Uh, so this was um, actually an idea um, brought forward by AquaPower and also Diva. So that, that we really are keen to host a side visit to bring the whole participants of the conference to this uh, wonderful solar park which was built uh, quite in uh, record time with uh, this famous tariff of the 5.8 cents at the time um, which triggered an acceleration of the deployment of renewable energy in Dubai but well beyond. It also brought attention to the region. Yeah? Absolutely, ma massively. So, um, and then the 2.99 cent for phase three came out and uh, Swayhan 2.42 in Abu Dhabi. So, um, well, we will bring the, the conference to the site visit. We will have a look together, uh, co-hosted by AquaPower and, and Diva. Uh, it's a, a 200 uh, a megawatt AC park. Um, and um, yeah, it's been operating, I think, since uh, March 2017. And phase three is already under construction. We will look at this as well. And uh, in addition, they recently announced 700 megawatt CSP, CSP 100 megawatt tower, 600 megawatt uh, um, parabolic trough. So this will be the site just adjacent. And of course, we'll look at this. And uh, we said uh, there is a wonderful location just close to the site where we'll host a desert dinner. It's, uh, it's actually an amazing place called Bab al Shams. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gives the possibility you know, to network a little bit and have uh, some nice conversation after these two intense days of the conference uh, in a really pleasant environment. And last question, uh, so do you still have any available places? And if yes, how people can register? Well, actually the conference is uh, sold out, but we have a few places remaining. So uh, we can top up a little bit. So, uh, well, I would say, probably until next uh, week and uh, well we've had some uh, on-site reg registrations uh, last year but uh, so we want to keep it uh, you know to a round of uh, let's say between uh, 200 maximum uh, 300 people so not uh, too huge but uh, the most important thing is quality the level of people exactly so and this is why why people are typically attending um, to meet people like Peter Terium uh, like uh, Pedi Padmanathan has always uh, been supporting us uh, very generously and uh, like Jamila Mata from the Arab League uh, and, and many others. And uh, while well, we have a conference site, people can have a look and uh, we... Uh, we so will put the website, you know, uh, in the background. So still open, yes? <laughs> yeah, still open. Uh, so almost, I would say, uh, and the program is obviously closed, so we have a speaker lineup is, is all finalized and uh, everything else. But uh, we have, let's say, a, f a few remaining places. Okay, so thank you so much, and uh, thank you so much, Cornelius. And thank you so much also, Paul. Yes, thumbs up for Paul. Thumbs Paul Van Sam, yes, the, the president, the chairman. And uh, we'll meet in two weeks uh, in Dubai. Thank you so Great. much. Thank you so Thanks much. for watching.